going on folks welcome back to the channel and to all you new subscribers thanks for joining along and uh, we're out here today it's actually pretty nice there's a little overcast going on and you can see the front end of the car is ripped apart and uh, we're gonna do some some ducting I guess you can call it and those of you who are looking for a ECM link video don't worry we got one of those coming very very soon also probably later this week um, but today what we're gonna work on is fixing this little issue with cooling all these two GDSMs once you slap a big front mount intercooler right across the face of it you end up having a bunch of issues with your cooling and it kind of blocks your airflow to the radiator there's a lot of weird spaces there's gaps on the sides the left the right there's just it's a mess there's a it's really hard to get airflow through especially when you're blocking it with a you know three or four inch thick intercooler core so um, I'm not using the normal recording means, so forgive me if the frames are a little bit different than the normal videos have been lately. But uh, anyways, we're going to go under here. We're going to try to take some sheet metal and that bracket back when we installed this, we put a big piece of uh, angle iron on the bottom and that's what the intercooler basically sits on. So we're going to try to build off of that and hopefully we can also promote airflow through the top. And I have an idea with this, I'm thinking if you look this is the hood latch where your bumper mounts to this uh, top piece what I'm thinking about doing is cutting off this bottom leg here and this other outer leg here and just leaving the center section which is bolted to the center of the core support and building something that will kind of direct airflow let's see it'll go in through here up and back into the top of the radiator I feel like I'm kind of zoomed in on you guys, but I'm not. It's just this camera. So, needless to say, you guys are going to be sitting over my shoulder a little bit further back today, but you'll get the gist. So, I'm going to start by uh, obviously ripping the whole front end apart. We got our headlights out, our bumper off, our quick release makes that so much simpler. If you guys have a front mount intercooler installed in your car, I recommend pulling some of the bolts that are a pain to get to and uh, definitely install a quick set of quick releases they make Zeus fasteners there's all sorts of ones these ones you just put one hole in the fender on each side at the same spot and drill it into the bumper but it makes life easy so I got some new stuff sitting out here also we got some brand new ramps that we got from uh, our favorite Harbor Freight they were on sale thanks to all you guys we uh, actually used the YouTube money this month and bought some ramps bought some mat bought a couple extra tools uh, restocked on some uh, brake parts cleaner fluids all that stuff and I actually uh, repaired the wife's focus with that so thanks for all you guys who sit there and uh, watch the ads and you know buy the stuff from the commercials and all that fun so anyways let's get into this let's start tearing apart this front mount I got to take out a couple of clamps it looks like this top clamp here I'm gonna just disconnect here so I can pull that whole uh, charge pipe that goes up to the throttle body off and I'm also gonna pull off that intercooler coupler down there this is just affixed with a couple of random bolts that I found. Uh, it's a big, big Phillips head bolt, and underneath it is, I think, a 15 mil. It's going to be different for your setup unless you used, you know, a kit, a VRSF kit or something like that. But uh, generally the same practice. So once I get that thing out of the way, I want to get something made that's going to sit along the bottom side here and kind of direct airflow in and up because the radiator sits approximately... I'd say seven inches, maybe eight inches higher than the intercooler does. So the air actually has to, like, it has to come in and go up. So that's where my trouble has been. Well, you guys can probably hear it. I did get the front mount pulled off. But unfortunately, it's upstate New York and it started dumping rain. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, the rain stopped. I got the intercooler pulled off up here. And down here, you can see this little shelf that I built. And what I'm planning on doing, let me get this stool out of the way. All right, I have some sheet metal. So I'm going to try to use two pieces of sheet metal to fix this. Um, basically, I know the intercooler sits right on the edge of that lip. It's actually kind of farther forward. It sits probably not all the way in the back corner, but it sits right up about here on the edge. So I'm gonna connect that sheet metal down at the bottom here, tack weld it in, bend it up, and tack weld that sheet metal to the bottom of the lower core support. So it's kind of a little 
I guess you could say like a little a little arch. Okay, guys, in. so I've been messing around with this for about a half an hour now, and I think I've got a good solution here. Let me uh, step back so you can see. So here's what I got. I took a piece of sheet metal, and I basically used this uh, table that I got right here as a uh, metal break, and I got this thing bent in, so if you look at it, air comes through, the intercooler sits perfectly on it, it's like a little shelf, so the air will come in, it'll hit, and it'll go up and into the radiator and condenser stack, as opposed to blowing through the big hole, which is actually directly underneath it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to, I already test fit this, so, what I'm gonna do next is fire up the welder, put a couple of tack welds on it. I'm not gonna like go crazy with the welding on this because it's on the core support. I'm just gonna put one like every three to five inches just to hold it all together. And then I'm gonna tack weld the bottom on that angle iron, this little piece of metal here. I'm gonna go underneath and just do a little one, two, three tacks and call it a day. That way if I ever need to take this thing out or I wanna change it, I only have to buzz off a couple of tacks, and I don't have to go crazy grinding forever. So, Well, folks, it's starting to rain again, but let me show you my progress so far. So far, we have this nice little piece of sheet metal, and it's tacked in. It's nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I only did about five tacks on the bottom, five tacks in the back, and protected the uh, AC core with a spare piece of metal that I had. I just bent it in there and like tucked it behind so the spatter from the flux welder didn't hit it. And so far, I've gotten one of the legs cut out from right here. I started working on this one, it started to rain, but I got this side out. It's sitting uh, right here, nothing crazy. Just a little, uh, how did she go? Something like that. She's gone, and what I'm gonna do is duct it in with another piece of metal hopefully up to the uh, edge right here on the radiator, have it kind of go straight in, bend up, and, and close it, just like a little cover on the inside of there. But I gotta wrap around the hood latch mechanism with it, so we'll see how this goes. Also... So after our 15 minute rain delay, I was out here messing around with some stuff. Unfortunately, the rain keeps me from sticking this camera out in the uh, rain <laughs> so bear with me guys i'm sorry i'll have the uh, old software and camera recording equipment back out here next week um basically now that that's tacked in the other issue was all the little gaps that were all the way around the radiator and uh i thought i had remedied it the last time i messed around making abs plastic ducting which that's some piece right there there's another piece on that side and there were still gaps everywhere so to combat the gaps uh, I went and picked up some of this stuff. I saw this on DSM tuners. Some guy had used this stuff, and I was like, oh, what the heck, can't, can't you know, hurt to try. It's only like seven or eight bucks for a case of that stuff. Well, a bag, I should say. There's four four foot tubes per bag for $8 at Tractor Supply Co. So I was like, you know what, let's give it a whirl. And it looks pretty good, it's promising. So what I've done is I've taken and pressed this all the way down into the bottom, and you can see it follows the side of the radiator all the way down on this side. And then over here, I've done the same. And at the bottom, I actually took one of these sections of it and I cut it in half all the way down. And I pushed it in with the uh, cut side down. So you can actually see down there, it's all nice and even all the way across. And it's tucked itself right underneath the radiator and right underneath the AC condenser. So. If we take a good shot top down, let me see if I can show you guys. There you go. You can see everything is sealed from the radiator to the condenser. And that's a major problem that I was having was, you know, we have this big hollow bumper sitting in the front here with a big conical shape and just not having the air being directed up through the stack, uh, the radiator and AC condenser there, it was just pulling air from anywhere and the air was bleeding out the sides. All right, right guys, so... I have been messing with this for quite a while. I've kind of got this figured out and I just got done making this other piece, which I'll show you real fast. Let me peel the tape off that's holding it in place. Well, there she goes onto the ground. I made this little piece right here and this is supposed to fit right up where I notched out the uh, support part 
or the brackets for the uh, hood latch. I just put it in there and I realized that if I use this, I'm going to block off the nostrils that I put in the hood, those little carbon fiber uh, air vents. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think I'm going to go for it anyway. I feel like with all this in the front and this blocking air at the top, this is going to keep everything from, uh, you know, swirling inside and it'll help direct air through the stack of radiators. Oh, you know what I'm saying, the AC condenser and the radiator. Let me step off to the side here. So basically, I'll have it scoop up from the bottom and then on the inside of the radiator, well, inside of the hole for the radiator, the air will be blocked so it doesn't come out of any of these little points that are open normally, which are like these little spaces here and here and around this and this and this and it'll all be closed off and the air will be forced to go in and through so I think I'm gonna try installing it now and see how that goes and if it doesn't work I'll post an update about it on Instagram probably and tell you guys if I'm keeping the top part or getting rid of it and just letting the uh, little nostrils work so this is where I'm at right now I'm gonna put this all back together it all fits and uh, I guess I'll see you guys back here when I have yet another update. Be right back. All right, folks, this is where we've landed. I've got pretty much everything put back together. This is just a temporary piece of tape. Don't, don't even worry about that. But we've got this all stuffed back together these things are basically obsolete now there's a straight shot going up to the radiator around that pipe now all the way across and everything kind of went back together nicely I just have to put a couple more clips in the front bumper here but it's all back to its uh, basic shape I guess headlights went back in they fit fine so I did use the piece of metal at the top, the piece of metal at the bottom. And I hope that this promotes some cooling. This is sealed on the left side, sealed on the right side, sealed on the top. And instead of having a giant opening at the bottom, it's actually directed in through the radiator. Also, those uh, foam pieces are in underneath here. You can only see a little corner sticking out. And uh, everything went back together pretty well. So it's all tight. Radiator against the condenser, intercoolers moved just a skosh to the uh, to the right, and the hangers that I had sitting in there before are now not necessary. So I ripped all those things apart, threw them in the trash, don't need them. All the piping's back together, so I'm going to finish buttoning this thing up and hop over to Instagram, and we will post an update over there in the next couple of days once I do some driving and get some logs. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.